Everybody in the groove. Yeah. Stick around. We're just warming up. Here we go.
Hello, everybody. Uh, can you hear us okay and see us okay? You'll have to let us know in the chat. Um, but welcome back um, to a, another Moon Colony portfolio review session. Uh, I have Emra back with us again. What's up, people? Uh, it's always a pleasure. Um, and you can hear and see, and everything's in order. Perfect. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. um, it's great to see some people from our, our streams from the last sort of week or so. It's always great to have you back. Um, as always, thanks everyone for submitting. We had a lot of submissions to go through, um, and you know, it, it, we had to pick. We had to mm. pick a pick a few. We only have yeah. an hour, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, thanks for um, all the portfolios we submitted. Mm -hmm. I'll explain, you know, um, you know um, what we're gonna do. A bit of introduction, if you don't know who I am. So I'm the founder here at, at Moon Colony. Uh, I founded the studio seven years ago, and before that, I was a concept artist. But I was like, "F this! Let's start a <laughs> studio." You know, do some awesome art, and that's what we have been doing. So that's me. Um, so I'm gonna look at you know um, the 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 portfolios that we picked. <laughs> and I'm gonna explain how we picked it. We, I had to pick some. You know, um, uh, sometimes we do. Um, you know, first uh, the, we go through the list from the top. But um, I'm going to be honest, some of those portfolios uh, were not ready to be reviewed and, and I'm, I'm going to explain why um, in a bit. Um, but yeah, we got, I think, five or six portfolios today um, that are close to, to be like uh, ready mm -hmm. portfolios. So I'll just, you know, go through them, explain you know, what you guys need to do and that type of stuff. Yeah. But yes, there's some cool, cool art to look at today. Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. uh, I think we can we can hop right in. I'll give you the, the yeah. mouse. Okay. Um, so our first one is uh, Daniel Kovacs. Right. Yeah. Um, so if you're here, say hi in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, same goes to everyone today. Um, feel free to ask questions, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. Um, mm -hmm. But Daniel told me uh, oh, he is in the chat. Welcome. All right. Uh, sure. Daniel told me in his message that he uh, mm -hmm. is looking to go into semi-realistic work, similar mm -hmm. to League of Legends, but he hasn't got a specific studio in mind right now. Mm -hmm. um, and he's on his portfolio, he's got some character concepts in there, just yeah. because he wants to do um, illustrate like character illustrations. So yeah, um, so, yeah, yeah. I can see that it's a character focused portfolio. Yeah. So, okay, so before we jump in, um, I'm gonna just quickly explain, uh, you know, how I usually go through portfolios, like anytime, right? Um, like when we are looking for artists um, for for our projects, um, I'll go to first. Um, oh, I need to explain to you what this means, portfolios king. Um, so it's the reason why we're looking at portfolios today. But in general, you know, uh, when you're making an application, uh, you need to have a good portfolio. That's what what this means. And some people compensate um, their portfolios with, with just like, uh, uh, you know, cover letters, you know, like really long, you know, um, text that they kind of like they explain how nice they are, you know, to work with. Uh, no one cares. You need to have a good portfolio. That's that's why this is here, right? If you have a good portfolio, then we'll go back and read your CV and cover letter. So that's what this means. So, um, so there, are, so we have a blog on our website. We can link it later, but basically just explains the eight points that you need to pay attention to, right? So maybe like make a note of it. Um, but we we look at the platform you you know you publish your portfolio at. You know it needs to be on a good platform. Like you know our station is one of the best out there. Some people post their own websites which is, you know, really bad, you know, barely navigatable. So stay away from those type of website. Short window, so that's first impressions, right? Um, uh, so I'm gonna tell like a, you know, a, a, like a hard truth to, to hear, but when I look, I, I spend two seconds uh, on a portfolio when I like, like this, uh, if I don't like it, I'll go um, like that. So that's why presentation is really important. Um, if I stay more than two seconds, that means I like what, what I'm looking at mm -hmm. here as a shop window. So we'll uh, discuss about focus, right? Focus means um, like 
it I'll have to be clear about what you want to do from your portfolio. If you confuse me, that's uh, that's not a good sign, right? Like for example, let, look at Daniel. So I can see he does character work and there's a bit of like a riot influence stuff. Uh, so that gives me enough information about what you want to do, right? Because you don't tell, you know, us words, you don't, there's no explanation, maybe about, maybe, but I don't really look at it, right? So mm -hmm. I need to have a look and understand what you want to do, what kind of port portfolio this is. So that's focus. Um, and what, as you focus, you can have a, have a bit of variety in your work. That means like if you do character design, right? So you do everything related to character design, like character sheets, you know, uh, turnarounds, weapon designs, mounts, skins, whatever is out there these days, that's, that's like, um, uh, you know, trendy, you know, uh, or popular, you know, you can do, obviously you need to like, uh, like it, you know, don't force yourself to do like the stuff you don't like. But, you know, having a bit of variety in your portfolio within the focus is, is good. Consistency is about like quality, you know, uh, if you post, uh, you know, work and if you look, if I look at, you know, your oldest work, it needs to be, you know, like a similar, uh, like a, um, a skill level or like um, it shouldn't be old work, which we will talk about again. You know, I keep seeing it in, in every uh, review session remove your old work um <laughs> we were about to put a banner up yeah. but uh maybe next time um we forgot but yeah that's what that means um presentation you basically need to have good presentation skills basically you're marketing your own work you know, you're you're selling your skills that's why presentation is important i'll explain skill level obviously you know to get the best gigs you need to be a top tier artist but you still have a chance, you know, if you're not a top, top artist, you still have a chance in the industry. You can talk about that too. Marketing is basically how you sell yourself, how you network, um, you know, and, um, and if you have an email up here, you know, uh, on your, like, you know, just make yourself easily accessible to recruiters. So that's the gist of it. But anyway, um, so that's how I usually look at portfolios, but, so we got Daniel here. Um, uh, let's let's dive in. So first of all, again, as I said, um, you know, um, I look at um, the first impressions is important for me. Uh, I when I looked at it, uh, you know, I think it's enough for me to stay longer. You know, um, from a thumbnail, I can understand your skill levels. You know, um, you know that's why how you kind of. Um, uh, design your thumbnails what you show in there you know is also important but regardless i'll understand if you got the skills or not so that's why i skip usually in two seconds um so let's dive in i'm, I'm intrigued right so you know yeah. I'll, I'll click on some valor and stuff um okay so i look at your first work obviously right so then i look at your oldest work so this is again what i talked about about consistency Right off the bat, remove this, right? Uh, we, we are not really interested in environment work because all, all, everything else is character focused, right? So what, I mean, I mean, maybe like just go back, you know, um, look at your portfolio. Does it make sense to you this here? It doesn't to me. Um, so I would just remove this um, because uh, also um, it's not your strongest, let's be honest, environments, okay? Um, by the way, folks, I'll be super honest with you. Okay. If I come across blunt, <laughs> that's because I really, uh, want you to get better. Okay. So there are two types of, um, you know, people, uh, right. One is take these, uh, you know, th this feedback, like a champ. Okay. Go back <laughs> and apply this and we want you to apply this feedback, right? Some will get frustrated go back and, you know, shout in the, you know, pillow, but, um, wake up next day. Okay. Look at the mirror and think like, you know what? Emra was right. <laughs> right. Okay. So that's what I want you guys to do. Um, and everyone else should take on, take on this advice as well. Yeah. Especially, yeah, yeah. Especially when it comes to deleting old work, we're tired of seeing old work. On yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So really listen, right. Pay attention and go apply this feedback. Otherwise we're just wasting time here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, cool. So again, as I said, um, remove any old work, 
if you're not if it's not your strongest remove it so what's the sketch let's have a look that was a series of sketches mm. yeah um, okay uh you know i i i personally believe this type of stuff shouldn't uh be on your portfolio that you're uh presenting to a recruiter um it could be on your instagram or stuff right um if you don't want to show sketches show relevant sketches um like design sketches mostly i want to see your process uh, right um like um this is too random for me so you know um I'm not entirely interested in seeing this. So like, for example, um, we can go look at some designs here. Let's see, that one is interesting. Yeah, you, yeah like you see show these here, you know, these are fine. Yeah, this is the type of stuff I wanna see. Um, uh, you know, any, any study, just maybe post on Instagram. Um, yeah. By the way, if there are any questions, let me know, Jaden. Um, yeah, I'm taking that. I'm scanning. Mm -hmm. Everyone's just saying that they appreciate the honesty. Um, okay, oh, cool. we just got a question, actually. Mm -hmm. um, Vinyl Grex asked, uh, what if I'm applying for a position of a generalist in the, uh, in an outsourced studio? Should I remove, for example, envir uh, environment art? Environment art? Mm -hmm. um, um, if I'm applying for the position of a generalist in the answer mm. state. Gen what do you mean by generalist? Like um, someone who can de do everything? Um, mm. I think that's what you mean. But that's really rare these days. Um, so, you know, uh, that's why, you know, one of uh, one of this, like focus, is one of the key elements for, for us. Um, um, I think um, you can have, like, you can have splash illustration and character designs because these are, those are kind of related to each other but if you jump into um like do like also like have environment work there you know yeah. um i rarely see people do both as good you know um so one or the other kind of takes the hit um that's why um i would recommend person so just to focus on a certain thing that because that's why we how we hire um uh it's it's really for because you mentioned an outsource studio right it could be relevant if you're applying to a game studio but again that's really rare that those are also like character concepts artists and warm concept artists like so they also started to uh, kind of separate those from each other uh, a while ago um but since you mentioned outsource studio we, we hire project base. We look, we're looking for a splash artist. Um, and that's what I'm looking at in your portfolio. You're looking for a character designer. That's what I'm looking at in your, por in your portfolio. So that's how it works. Um, so yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> um, cool. So for this um, Valorant type of work, that's cool. You know, I like the focus, right? If you design this uh, background yourself, although it's uh, what Valorant does with their graphic design, like visual design language. Um, but if you kind of mimicked it, it's cool. I think you did a good job. But if you took something and copied and pasted, uh, don't do that. Um, you can use the Valorant logo maybe, but again, um, what is it? Jeff Secret Lab competition submission. So that's for Riot's competition? Uh, right? Secret Lab. So Secret Lab is uh, they're a, a gaming chair like company, I think. Uh, mm. If I'm remembering correctly, oh, yeah? but oh, okay. yeah, they do a lot of. I mean, the chair she sat on is a is mm -hmm. a secret lab like mm -hmm. gaming chair based oh, on, oh, okay, based okay. on so that's a so. oh, Interesting. Okay, so it's kind of fan art. I would still mention it's fan art. You know, yeah. wherever you can, not to confuse any anyone. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's a good good kind of um, effort. Um, the, the style, I don't think it's 100% there, you know, uh, there's a certain way they do, you know, renders, uh, you know, very blocky kind of like graphic kind of visual language. I think it's close, but still, I don't think it's there. Um, mm -hmm. The pose is fine. Um, but yeah, it's lacking some elements. I won't dive into the just specifics of each piece. 
but um, it, you know, it's an effort, it's good. So I'll come back to these. I, I looked at these, um, yeah. and I I like them, uh, but there are things that you can improve. For example, we usually try to stay away from too much blacks, too much darks, in you know, especially play like this is the perfect example. Mm. So. I think, Here. Actually, hmm? I think we had this in a uh, in an art critiques yeah? session yeah a couple of weeks ago uh, who was it yours uh yeah. no i yeah. think it was uh it might have been alex Pien. okay all right i haven't seen his uh feedback or uh... i think it was very similar it was like light enough yeah um so any any splash art situation like this uh look at your values first uh, you know value structure so the background you know the darks in the background and the character are super close to each other and you're just flattening your whole scene uh, with that. yeah. so that's why you know the brightest brights you know should be in the focal area which is currently um around the head mm -hmm. but still uh, you know i think you should how you render things i don't know what you use like maybe you use blending options uh, and stuff but um these darks um first makes the colors really muddy you know especially look at um you know it's, it's not a realistic lighting situation so I, I don't think you understand light correctly um so you look at these transitions from just local colors to darks yeah you know it's as if there is no like uh you know um like transitioning like color uh, or like no bounce light you know uh, it just makes everything look muddy right so if you um uh, like less if when you're mixing colors in oil and things like that so it doesn't mix like this so that's why it looks very digital very muddy and uh, I, I think you need to go back and maybe like study some lighting as mm -hmm. well it will help you a lot I'm sure um but that was the main thing um that I saw you use black too much. Um, you use a local color and and just darken it with just pure blacks, or like pick a color and you pick them pick a like a darker uh, hue uh, tone value of it and do your black uh, uh, shadows with that. But that's it's not it doesn't work like that. Um, so there are lots of other you know uh, things going to it like you know. You know, stop scattering, you know, um, bounce light, you know, ambient light, so that type of stuff. So you need to keep those in mind as you mm -hmm. as you work on your pieces. Um, this one, same situation, a lot of dark. I, I can understand you're trying to pop the character, you know, uh, with, with contrast, but it's just too dark here. Um, but everything else in this piece, I quite like, uh, you know, all these effects, really nicely done um yeah yeah he said he said uh he understands uh, mm -hmm. uh he says i usually want the character to stand out and then end up using too much black mm. so. you use similar techniques to pop kind of like your characters mm -hmm. uh from the background it works but not in um uh, it's not the best way to do it um right um um i can you know in this one it reads better in the other one you kind of um, blended your character into the background a bit too much so that mm -hmm. it doesn't work there it works here but again i would just i wouldn't use that much black and especially her face is in the dark you know um, yeah. okay it makes it look maybe a bit more sinister and stuff but um yeah i would approach it a bit differently maybe next time look at how the other splash artist does it um, um just, yeah Try to come up with some other solutions with your lighting. Um, like here, especially, you can see how muddy it gets with the darks. So yeah. there's like a pure yellow, then really muddy dark yellow there. So light doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pay attention. Um, okay. Um, uh, we got a we've got a question from uh -huh. Gray Panda that says, for these kind of illustrations, do you recommend working from from grayscale? or mm. applying a color palette right mm. from the get-go yeah yeah um yeah so how we work is do we do we do thumbnails first you know just black and white um just mm -hmm. quick composition thumbnails it could include some you know values but then we refine it and add like actual you know um 
you know, values to it, you know, uh, how, because the value structure is really important, especially with key art and splash art pieces like this. Readability is key with these, so you need to set your, uh, you know, values uh, from the beginning. Then on top of those values, uh, um, you add colors and color yeah. options. So that's how it works. Um, uh, this is cool. Um, with so much stuff going, so much effects on top. I don't know. Um, maybe it's fine. But you're doing the same stuff. Um, just muddy dark colors in the shadows. Um, here as, as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just I, I would rethink that. Um, so when to clicking back, I think we go way back. I guess although seven this is months. seven months. I right, it's not that bad. But um, this is seven months. Okay, I'll uh, comment on your characters as well. Then uh, we'll move on. Uh, this is cool. I like it. For example, this one. Um, the uh, let me see this one there. Mm. Okay. I like the expressions. Mm, yeah. The multiple expressions in the top right. Yeah, yeah. Those are fine. Yeah. Um, so, um, this is okay, but um, you crammed too much stuff on, on, on one sheet, uh, I think. So do a character sheet where you show like this, the, the ones on the left, uh, with the, a bit bigger, you know, and make it the main piece. So it kind of looks like you push this away to the mm -hmm. left and it's almost like not in focus. I'm just looking at your sketches here. Um, so yeah, lay this out a bit more cleverly, you know, leave some space and maybe add those like, you know, emotions and stuff, you know, facial expressions on, on a separate uh, mm -hmm. sheet. Um, on here, you sh you should usually have um, a front, you know, four quart, uh, three quarter um, view, back view, side views, call outs, right? Um, the the that's a, that's a character sheet basically. So side view, um, back view, you know, call outs. Those could be just flats, you know. You don't have to render them. Just render maybe uh, front view if you have the time. Maybe back view as well. The rest could be just flat colors. And the call outs is, a, you know, maybe take this weapon and draw separately, you know, whatever is not visible clearly, uh, you need to draw separately, you know, like you did here, uh, you know, mm -hmm. but um, um, yeah, just, just explain how they look from, you know, each angle. Um, and, and then there is material sheets, you can keep that separate. Um, which I don't see you. So it's kind of like this this color palette, right? Uh, but it's co this color palette alone doesn't give me any idea of the material. So if you're gonna use a color palette, do it on a separate sheet, right? Um, add the materials um, that you used or wh whatever it is. Um, is it leather, you know, uh, this uh, orange one, for example, right next to it. Right. Okay. Um, silk, whatever. Yeah. Uh, this brown, like leather, but maybe um, show photo references of it as well, just like in squares. Just so when a three D artist, because this you're doing this for three D artists, right? So they will just look at it. They have to have the, you know, they need to be like ninety nine percent sure, or if not hundred percent, about what you want to do here, like what your design is. So that's the idea. So. Yeah, this is not enough for a 3D artist, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, but everything else, um, I guess these sketches um, are fine. Uh, although, how did you come, come to this point? So I don't see your thumbnails, you know, yeah. um, right? To, to be able to come to this point, you should have explored a variety of like shapes and sizes. I don't know what this project is what is Lilith the Redeemed Demon more like, okay. Um, I think you should do first more like thumbnails. Um, some people just jump to this, but I kind of want to see wild, more wild ideas, more bigger shapes, bigger mm -hmm. exp explorations rather than just, uh, when I look at it, it's just like some minor uh, outfit changes. That's it. There is no silhouette change here, so. 
I want to see more ideas on before you come to this point. Yeah. Um, this is cool. Oh yeah, the pose. Yeah, the pose is different there than it is. Yeah. yeah. From the. Um. From the yeah. Events. Um. Okay. That's interesting. So, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, first pass. I think you mixed up, you know, you know how you should present these a mm -hmm. uh, little, you know, anything super random should, should, you know, you can do like a key art with it, right? But like a, um, like a beautiful, beautiful piece uh, that kind of like explain what the character is all about. If you do that, um, put it right at the top, you know, just to sell yeah. the character, then start with the character sheet after maybe, um, so. Okay, it just confuses me a little the the how you um, uh, line this up. These are fine. Um, yeah, um, basic demon appearance, human appearance. It's a bit messy how you lay these out. I think you can be a bit cleaner, you know. Um, yeah, they said that. I think that. Yeah. I'm a bit confused. I think it said. I think he said that the rendered one. Yeah. So that uh, yeah. was the idea, and then the, the variations, and the end is at the top. Uh, okay. Which, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but... How you worked on this project is a bit confusing. Yeah. So I would follow like steps, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And when you end up with a design, you know, uh, like, and you're sure about the design, do key art for it, you know, like, so show her in a pose or something, put it at the top. Yeah. and follow up with rest of the designs like a sheet all the sketches actions you know uh effects whatever mm -hmm. expressions but but okay hope you understand what i'm saying um yeah this, these are fine um i'll pass now uh, so i'll move on to the next one yeah. uh, but hopefully you understand um you know what you need to do um uh, with what i said i would just maybe um do a few more pieces it's best to do like uh, you know full-on projects maybe do i don't know um two three full projects you know design projects and in between the quicker pieces that so you can fill up your portfolio right because i would ideally remove some of the old work you know maybe mm -hmm. this bottoms and do new ones you know kind of like applying what i said yeah and you should get there um uh i give you six months if you work hard <laughs> Uh, but we'll see. But nice one. Really yeah. good stuff. Cool. So, Marion. Yeah, the next one is uh, Marion. So if you're here, then uh, once again, say hi. Let us know mm -hmm. you're around. Um, thanks, Daniel, for submitting yours. It was you know, great to see your work and I hope you, hope you listen to the feedback. <laughs> um, yeah, listen to it. Um, but uh, so, Marion, what, what did yeah, you hear about? Marion said that they, uh, they uh, wanting to work more in a Wizards of the Coasts style, yeah. so that's uh, more yeah. sort of tabletop RPG, yeah, board, magic, uh, board yeah. games, card games, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're just looking for, for general feedback to help them kind of mm -hmm. get get over that that line um, into yeah, a okay. professional standard. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, I totally get it. When, when I looked at your portfolio, I was like, oh, okay, so kind of potential magic artist, right? Mm -hmm. Or whatever tabletop card game. You might want to work on, uh, although it's a bit limited to, you know, to um, those type of, um, you know, projects, which is fine, you know, um, there's lots of projects out there, um, you know, illustration projects, uh, but um, first of all, um, I think when I look again, uh, you know, if you guys go back to this one, the platform is fine, right? Um, Hold on, did, did Daniel put his... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, Daniel, sorry, I forgot. Uh, there's no email, man. Uh, uh, you failed. <laughs> um, so if you, people can't contact you, then there's no point putting up a portfolio. So put your email mm -hmm. here. And ideally, I forgot to put up a photo here. So I want to... People relate to faces, right? Um, I want to see your face there okay, so to see, you know. Don't be shy, you know, just, you know, you're a, you're a human, you have a face, mm. put it up there, nice photo, bam. Um, so yeah, but no email, no good. Um, so yeah, uh, Marion, uh, 
when I look at it, so it's first impression, so I like it, but I like what I see. But maybe a couple things. Um, you got the email, cool. You got like Twitter, Instagram, fine. Uh, one more thing. Um, marketing, right? Uh, if start the LinkedIn, you know, uh, it's not, you know, maybe it's not for everyone, but uh, it's what I do, you know, and what our recruiters do, when we come to here, you know, a uh, bit of a bio here as well. Come on, guys. Uh, just, just little <laughs> three sentences I, I might want to read. Um, so I, will, I directly click on your LinkedIn before Instagram or Twitter. I don't really care about Instagram, Twitter that much. But if I really like your portfolio, I might want to like go click and see what other stuff you do. Yeah. But before that, I click on your LinkedIn to see, you know, your um, what's, what's experience. Right? Yeah. Um, so which studios did you work for or who are you freelancing with? What? How long have you been in this business? Right. So mm -hmm. I need to have a really quick idea about this. Um, you know, if you don't have those, you know, yeah, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you are you fake? You yeah. Know? Um, yeah. Is it a fake portfolio? I don't know. Do you know, just yeah. put it up. Uh, they but, say they do yeah. have a LinkedIn, but it's almost empty, and they're pretty lost with what to do with it. So that's just, I just told you what to do with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so fill it up. You know, put up your experiences. Um, you know, sometimes it's not relevant, but most of the times it is, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's good to have it. But anyway, um, put a banner up here. So this is you, right? So don't how fast your portfolio. So this is, uh, if you don't have a banner, you know, use it to a hundred percent, whatever is given to you for free. You know, this is a yeah. free platform unless you pay for it or pro <laughs> or whatever, but, um, usually it's free. Um, so just use it to the max, right? So put yeah. up a banner there. Um, uh, I mean, your portfolio yeah. is, is a representation of yourself, isn't it? So if you, yeah. if you customize it, you're, you're showing us who you are. Yeah, yeah. Just do your best with it, you know. Um, just uploading images, you know, you might think it's enough, but usually not. You know, just make it beautiful, you know. Yeah. It's, it's your shop, you know. I want to look at it. I want to buy from you, you know. I want to go into the shop, buy shit from you. So, yeah. you know, pay attention. Uh, but I'm going to come to, um, you know, your skill level. So I think you're close. I like these. I looked at these. Um, mostly um mostly i like them it's just like little things right which is mostly um about your skill level so i see anatomy issues right so um i don't know how you construct your images but s some of them when i looked at them uh, they looked like you know it was put together or something maybe you maybe you, you um you'll Looked at, you know, maybe you took a reference for this, this pose, right? Sorry. It's okay. Ah. Uh, then, um, but you didn't know what to do with the bottom side and it, it kind of, you drew something, but it looks detached from the rest of the body mm -hmm. and they're like proportional issues, right? So I think that's very loose um, because when a Wizards of the Coast AV comes in, these type of stuff just puts them off probably just those mistakes right uh, just anatomy mistakes proportion mistakes um, um, other than that you know I, I like your compositions um, um, this pose is super cool yeah, um, what is there's something wrong with the face you know these little things you know this eye is too high you know if you really like Flip the image, you'll see the mistake. This this eye uh, is not aligned with the other. Uh, you know, those type of stuff, uh, seasoned AD will look at it. No, no, I don't like that. You know, it, it passed. You know, really, you are um, failing yourself with these type of mistakes. But don't get me wrong, it takes time, right? Yeah. Just keep practicing and practice anatomy, right? Uh, like do gestural drawings because the core of your piece is this character, right? You need to get it right. Otherwise, people will pass on you. So that's what it is. Here, really awkward pose. I don't know, like here it's super flat. This arm is almost like broken. I don't know how she's holding that. Um, so flat back. So you're not constructing your characters good enough. 
That's why people are passing on you. Mm. Okay. So you need to go back and uh, study a bit more on, on your like anatomy, um, gestures, everything that makes these pieces appealing. Appeal is the biggest thing. Like people, um, you know, draw towards, drawn towards appealing things. Like, I don't know, it's how it is like, um, uh, how, how a character is constructed, how their face looks, you know, there are certain trends, you know, right. Does it beautifully, you know, uh, obviously th these are all idealistic characters, but that's how the entertainment industry works. Um, um, so you need to understand what appeal is and, and how to make things appealing. Um, that's the key. Um, uh, this, this is fine. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what it is for me. These are all nice, but yeah, just, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, again, um, any old work remove, um, probably you need to put this one next to the newest one, right? And ask yourself, is this good enough as this one? If you think it's, it's a no, just just delete it, uh, right? Or ask someone, right? You know, like us, I just told you. Um, or a friend, or your mother. Okay, thanks, Marion, awesome. Um, you will get there for sure. Thanks, Marion. Jake. Okay. Yeah. Next up is Jake. Um, so Jake's interested in doing um, sort of more stylized, or concept art for stylized uh, projects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they have some experience in tabletop RPG uh, games, apparently, which I'm really? assuming is going to probably be that ribbit stuff. If yeah. I was to, if I was to guess, All right? Um, and they're interested in character design. Mm -hmm. and that's creatures or mm -hmm. uh, or people. Mm -hmm. but, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, first, Jake, are you here? Yeah. If you're here, Jake, say hi. Yes. Let's know. Say hi. Okay. Yeah. So when I first saw this, I was really intrigued because I really like your sketches, right? Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, in general, this is a good portfolio and I want to click on, on pretty much everything. So that's a good sign, right? Yeah. But, um, let's look, um, email here, email here. Yeah. LinkedIn. Oh uh, yeah. Good, good. He's done it. Yeah. So you're already on a, you know, starting on a, um, good place. Um, yeah. so. Nice human creator illustrator. Oh, you're human. Let's That's get, good to get know. Let's get the <laughs> You never know these days. Um, cool. All right. Cool. Um, yeah. So I'll. Okay. So very heavily character design focused, um, um, which I like. Uh, so there's a bit of an influence, I guess. Um, maybe some. Um, Dark side, there's you know airship syndicate type of yeah, um, you know or even their newest game uh, Wayfinder, you know yeah they have a kind of a um, signature style, so it kind of reminded me of that, which is not a bad thing. It's really good. Um, they have good concept artists. Um, yeah, I'll just quickly go through. Yeah. Um, Cool. You start uh, on a sketch. Yeah, sketch, uh, sketch, yeah. sketch book. That's cool. Right, I'll have some notes on that. Um, <laughs> that's cool. All right. Uh, as always, Jake, if you have any questions mm -hmm. you know, while we're going through them, is he here? I didn't see. Yeah, he is. Yeah, here, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, he's breaking frames in the chat. Mm -hmm. Breaking frames, cool. Yeah. Oh, he said it's very. It was very inspired by Wayfinder, so that'll be why. Uh, some yeah. yeah, nice. It's fine. Right, you know, you want to have a focus, uh, so that's a good thing. Yeah. And the you know, most of these are also. What I see here, um, 
like illustration to our work. Yeah. Yeah, I really like these really yeah. little thumbnails. Um, oh, well, cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. The designs are pretty unique. I like them. Mm. Who was that? Was that designer? Uh, oh God, who did uh, tons of like sketches like this way? But he, he also did like some adult stuff. If you mm. if you guys remember, uh, can you? Yeah, let's know in chat. Can, uh, yeah, I forgot his name. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, lots of cool sketches, lots of idea issues. I like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me collect my toes uh, because this is mostly really good stuff. I'll probably have just a few notes for you. You know, you're very close. Um, the fact that you're still sketching on a sketchbook. That's cool. Yeah. So I can see your illustrations or, you know, colors um, are, are not your strongest, uh, you know, um, you are mostly a sketch artist, like designer, like quick doodle type of like quick ideas type of person, uh, mm. which is fine, you know, totally fine. Um, but your um, your render skills, you know, you don't have to render like an illustrator, you're a, you know, you're a designer mostly, um, um, but it would make sense if you, you know, maybe practice a bit more because it will help you to sell your ideas, um, you know, um, how you, how you apply color on your um, uh, concepts. Yeah, these are, I'm not sure about these, uh, to be honest. Uh, these are um, the faces. I don't. Um, no, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but is it like a what Seven is it? Seven months ago. Um, it's a bit creepy to me. Um, you know, maybe you were trying to capture like a style there, but um, I, I almost felt like I hopped onto like a different world. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, it felt. This feels very, um, very, very different from the rest of her work. I think, um, it, was, I think it was probably the only bit of fan art that was on yeah. there. Because that was the Adams family, wasn't it? Whereas the rest of this yeah. stuff, was very... But very, it's very, um, very unique. Um, mm. And for me, it's in, not in a good way. Um, so I would, I would, if I was you, I would remove these. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some nice ideas, sketches there. Um, Maybe not this, but what, what this, yeah, like uh, maybe this, this stuff. It, it confuses me a lot. Don't get me wrong. So I'm like, what's going on here? Um, I really like your designs. So these are cool. Whatever the creature, creature, you know, um, or like creative design ideas I like. I think you, maybe seven months ago, you were in a place, you did these quirky stuff, but then you started to have some bit of focus at mm. the top and now you know you're going towards the right, right direction here right um so focus on this you definitely have really cool ideas especially creatures you know really really good i would clean them up a bit more um look at how um paul richards yes thank yeah, I was you gonna, i was waiting for a time yeah to matt, matt my man yeah <laughs> um paul richards check out paul richards work um but some of his stuff is not safe to look at, uh, but I don't think it's on our station anyway, that stuff. Um, but um, yeah, just look at how he presents his sketches. Um, so it's just top level stuff. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, look at, you know, Baldi Konjin, I don't know how you pronounce his name. All, all of the Airship Syndicate, type Airship Syndicate concept titles that will come up, Baldi. Um, um, so look at how they kind of present their work. These are a bit too loose for me. So this stuff, um, 
pay attention to shapes a bit more you know i know it's an effect but i think you can do a better job like just cleaning up those shapes a bit mm -hmm. some of them you know i don't know yeah it's just just really dirty edges like that you know too sketchy just spend some more time you know um i'm not sure about this page clean them up really put together some bigger projects right do two three big projects character design projects and do everything character sheets mm -hmm. just actions effects you know um, weapon designs mounts tell give us a you know like a world you know um of like what this character is, uh, where this character is from. When I look at it, all I need to understand what's it about, you know, what, what, what it does, you know, as a video game character, you know, what type of character, agile, heavy, whatever. So this is not enough, right? But I can see what you want to do. At, at least that's a good thing, um, right? And you're in the right direction. Just spend more time. Um, yeah. Uh, he's asked, uh, do you think there's anything missing in my portfolio subject-wise, like more props or a specific genre? Yeah, yeah you know, what I told you, do yeah. bigger projects. Genre is fine, you can just stick to fantasy like mm -hmm. this, you know. Um, it could be, you know, just just pure fantasy or like more, you know, um, you know, uh, very finer is like more like sci-fi fantasy kind of mashup almost. Um, yeah. So yeah, do some something like that. Just try to create different unique worlds, you know, unique characters, do full projects. I think that's what's missing here. Just, just don't get me wrong. These feel just how fast to me, you know, just here's a sketch, some colors, mm. not done. You know, it's, it doesn't work like that in yeah. the industry, unfortunately. You need so, to do more. So they're um, cool designs. You just need to mm -hmm. push them a bit further. Push them yeah. further, present a bit better. All, I like these sketches, you know, just you can keep them, maybe clean them up a bit better, you know. But yeah, just some more refined work uh, will do the job for you. Um, you'll get there. I really like it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and network a little bit, right? Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, just follow people, like their work, add comments. Then you'll start raising up your followers and, you know, post stuff on Instagram, you know, just link up with people, man. Um, yeah. That's how you get to know, you know, just hang around in our Discord, you know, um, give give to people, you know, provide uh, like uh, value to people, just give some people some feedback, right? And they will appreciate it and they'll remember your name, you know, things yeah. like that. That's how it develops. Um, um, we yeah. had a question about yeah how would you recommend laying out big projects on art station would you do it in multiple posts or no no under one post one project yeah. one post um although you know what with one big project you can separate if it has like um really um different kind of elements to it maybe you know you do a character right and if maybe it has a mouth or something you mm -hmm. might have to separate it Post maybe like uh, six to ten images under one image uh, is fine um, most of the time because um, when I see it, um, like when I see this, uh, I want to see more. I start scrolling, you know. Yeah. But don't chuck, you know, too many images under one project. So when mm -hmm. it is more than, you know, maybe eight, nine, ten images, whatever, you can separate. Uh, but I don't think it will go as many as that. Um, Mm. Again, unless you have like a mount design, so uh, um, how you might do it, you know, how you might like relate them to each other. You design a, like a thumbnail um, uh, and like a, maybe like even a logo for your project, whatever. Just put on the thumbnails of those logos, yeah. so it will co co you know connect. Uh, I'll if after looking that at that, I'll look at the other and I'll you know in my head I'll connect them, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's yeah. how we can progress. But yeah, um, pretty awesome. Uh, um, let me yeah, take one, one last question from uh, from them actually. Uh, what's uh, what do you think is the most sort of refined piece? Uh, mm, my portable yeah. Yeah, refined piece. Um, um, it's a tough one. They are not really um, refined. Really sketchy mm. most of the time. Um, 
maybe like how I presented this looks a bit more thought through because what was it like uh our station challenge i don't know um maybe this um because it feels more like a bigger project because there are mm -hmm. so many characters um but no as a, in as a thing as an artist you're really loose you know it's fine you just just clean up your sketches a bit more refine them and refine your presentations yeah and uh, you'll get there yeah um cool nice one um I'll skip. So, is someone else is asking? There, yeah, there is a question yeah. in there. Um, does it make sense to add background concepts of the world in a character design portfolio? I wanted to add environments, but I'm not sure if that might confuse people. Mm. Uh, background concepts of the world in a character design. Uh, that's a good question. I mean, if it's in a project, if it's a whole, you know, uh, like a, as one project, if it makes sense um then yeah why not but make sure it's as good as your characters um right your backgrounds because as i said in the beginning we only hire background artists uh for you know um if because they they do that really well you know we don't look at char characters in their portfolios they usually don't have characters they only have backgrounds mm -hmm. It's the easiest way to be get recruited, guys. Get hired. It's just focus on something, and you'll 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 get people, you know, reaching out to you. You know, it's just as easy as that. You know, if you want to put backgrounds in your, you know, character design project, do it, but make sure it's really good. <laughs> Otherwise, it will just take it down. Take you know, take the quality level down, and you don't want that. Um, yeah. So okay. Um, so this one is. Uh, Christina, um, Christina, hi. Not not our Christina, obviously. Not our Christina, yeah. Um, but Christina currently uh, works in industry, so you can see on her portfolio she works at Two K, um, Thirty First Union. First Union, okay. Um, Professional artist, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they just said they're looking to they're looking to level up their portfolio, mm -hmm. uh, and they would like to know sort of the best and worst parts. Once again, yeah. just general. Yeah, yeah. Feedback. Cool, cool. Hi, Christina. So, um, professional artist. Did she say how many years she has been? Mm -hmm. Can you write how many years you have been doing this yeah. or like working professionally? How did you get the job? They can't contact you. <laughs> no, no, no email. Four years. They've been Four working years. Professionally. Okay. <laughs> uh, first of all, up an email um uh, i don't know like maybe you don't want to get reached out but um since you're here um um maybe you know uh you wanna i don't know it's, it's okay you have a job you know i understand you know um but still i, I may want to reach out to you, you know you, some most people won't you know some will won't, but most won't send you a message here um so Best, you know put up an email um, yeah. uh, and um, make it easy for us to reach out to you put up a LinkedIn whatever mm -hmm. um, because since you're um, working full-time um, uh, you have some sort of experience I want to see that um, but yeah okay four years first of all to um, improve your portfolio I'll tell you um, what to do but but again what I told Marion, like put up a banner, you know, you have a face here that that's nice that I can see who you are. So that's a good start. Try to make it a bit more, you know, approachable as a portfolio. Mm -hmm. But when I look at these thumbnails, I like them, you know, I want to click on them. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, they said they just, hmm? they just uploaded the summary. Uh, but it hasn't appeared yet, so maybe if we refresh it, it will <laughs> oh, you, you did it on the spot. You, you cheated. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay, okay. Cool. yeah, okay. <laughs> nice. It's, I like that. You do yeah, so, you know. We always get we always get one person who watches everyone else and then goes, Ah, I have to do that quickly. Don't get told off. You too, sorry. Um, so I saw it that you didn't have it. 
but it's good that you know you're applying the feedback you're given so mm -hmm. i don't want to click on your linkedin but uh, um cool i looked at these uh you know at least some of them um these are beautiful but there are some elements that uh you can do better um I mean, let me have a look at all of those. Uh, yeah, these are nice. Yeah. Um, ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like totally different. I didn't. Yeah, there's a lot I, of different styles. I didn't come that far. Hold on, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is more like photo bashy. Um, it's mm -hmm. okay. The study is okay. Um, yeah, this is more like uh, Spider-Verse type of yeah. background work. It's cool. Um, ooh, round rocks. Okay, that's a bit confusing. Uh, yeah, okay, study. Okay. So I'll tell you first thing you need to do. Um, so this doesn't look finished to me. So you have, I think you're not patient enough <laughs> to, to finish up a background because look at all, all the, you know, Ghibli stuff or, or whatever, you know, lots of, um, I looked at so many like French artist portfolios with those like really beautiful backgrounds and stuff and, um, or, or from wherever <laughs> the last one I was I looked at was French um, so for example here um, oh, it doesn't look finished like there's something you know looks unfinished to me uh, I think there's like a understructure there right so there's some type of like a 3d model like maybe you did in blender or whatever but um, this stuff is unfinished so mm. you first need to finish your background illustrations um, otherwise you're not you know giving away good signs about you know um, like, like let's say um, like a from anim an animation studio a recruiter looking at your work and right, this is unfinished right so it's confusing just do your best to just finish up these images characters are fine they're like super cute I like them you know um, and you're like trying to tell a story uh, it feels so good to be back it's cool you know uh the telling stories well finish up your illustrations again again like these are not it's alive. Oh. Yeah, and like these are not done right mm. um so um go and finish these um that's... also the, hmm? the date on that six months ago i don't know if that's the newest piece or uh, i don't know like uh you know i think these are the first two ones no? Uh, yeah no like, it's the first one yeah so yeah. So six months ago, I mean, yeah, I understand you have a full time job and, you know, um, you can't, you know, really find so maybe so much time. Again, this is not finished. I can see the underlying um, 3D model here. These trees half done. Compositions are not very well thought out. Like, see, that's a 3D model. As a concept, it works. Uh, this is a background illustration. Uh, that's what I get from it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not done, you know, just put more time into this. Um, yeah. Apart from that, nice explorations for trees, nice value studies, all good. Um, yeah. Um, apart from that, you just um, maybe um, th these type of studies, you can, if you want to show them, I told another other artists to remove them <laughs> but they were not relevant to their portfolio so if you want to show painting studies to kind of show off your painting skills or like that type of stuff put them under one maybe uh, project all of them yeah. and then people can just scroll otherwise just single images um, I don't know. Um, if you're trying to get recruited you know uh, that's that's the point uh, I guess that's why I am yeah. giving this feedback uh, otherwise this is fine but yeah um, that most important thing um, finish up your work do maybe some more of these I really like this 
just maybe do three to you know three more four more whatever you know whatever, whenever you have the time finish them up present them beautifully and then then you're good to go yeah um, yeah yeah great panda asked in the chat what would you define as a finished environment illustration uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you, want, you want me to show you? Um, <laughs> when it's done. <laughs> when it's done, it's done. So, uh, you can't, it's like when you look at an image, you can see it's not done. You know, yeah. like uh, here, you can see it's not done. You know, these are not done. Like, there are lots more detail can go into this. Yeah. You know, don't make me look up uh, background illustrations <laughs> or anything. Um, but look at any Ghibli work, you know. Um, right off the top of my head i can't really think of like a background artist uh, anyway if it comes to me i you know we can mm -hmm. type in the chat but um yeah um cool so we, we almost ran out of time i'll do one more okay yeah. but a uh, nice one christina good stuff mm -hmm. thank so, you christina so last one is this um uh yes uh juliana rodriguez uh if you're here then say hi oh they are that's gray panda who's just asking some questions hello uh, okay hi um so <clears throat> they're looking to go uh for a concept artist they're looking at concept artist positions um yeah and uh they're just looking for general general feedback as uh, yeah yeah that's cool uh cool Hi, by the way, G Gianna, or however, I don't know how to pronounce. Um, nice to meet you. So, mm. it's got a big old message from him. Um, currently okay. developing my own personal project consisting uh -huh. of basically everything that I'm supposed to be delivering if I were working in a team as a concept artist. So, uh, as someone who's looking to get their portfolio noticed by art directors like you, wink, wink. Um, what do you think my portfolio is missing right now to get an opportunity to take an art test for companies that are looking for stylized projects? Mm. So basically, what do they have to do to get an art test? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's first look at you know everything that's important at the top, right? Mm -hmm. um, then um, I'll dive into each image if I have the time. But in general, you're already in a good place, uh, get a bit of a bio, okay. I probably won't read all of it, uh, but it's, you got the email, LinkedIn, yeah, it's all good. Nice. Nice, nice. You got a banner. photo. Photo and a banner. Nice photo, banner. Right on. So, I like what I see, you know, I want to click on, I wouldn't skip this portfolio, so I just, you know, it, it's kind of intriguing, nice colors and stuff, so. Um, okay, so this is more of a like a skin design or is it a uh, personal concept? Isometric oh, stylized games, Dark Siders, Hades, Green King, Gothic, mm -hmm. Gothic spooky stuff. Okay, so it's a character design. Meet boss turn around, exploration sketches. Um, uh, okay. Okay, I need to look at a few more stuff, hold yeah. on. Hmm. <laughs> Separated stuff from the same project in different posts, so it's not too overwhelming. Yeah, that's okay. Um, yeah, like it's a different character, so mm -hmm. it's fine, yeah. I didn't see if on their thumbnails they'd done it, but I think we mentioned earlier about mm -hmm. maybe putting a logo on each one if you're going to do something like that. Yeah, yeah, Stop yeah. Them. Oh, yeah, they've done it. So yeah, I think she did it. But um, yeah. yeah, so these four are all from the same project. It's good, you know. You did like a big project. I think um, already a good sign. You know, um, I just I just need to look at these um, a bit better. So, okay. Is this the main character? What is this? Hero character. Oh, okay. Mm. Work in progress. What do you mean? You posted work in progress stuff. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Um, just complete it. 
put some more time into it, you know. When you post it, it's done. It's out in the world, mm -hmm. okay? You know, there's no returning back, you know. Just, yeah. you know, mo most people, you know, when, when I'm commenting on most of the artwork, right? Okay, do this, do that. You know, maybe like 5% of people will go back to the image, fix it, right? So, but they will use that information on the new images. Mm -hmm. So when it's out there, it's out there, you know? I don't think you'll find the energy to go back and finish this. So yeah. uh, I don't know your, what your situation is, but finish projects before posting mm. them. Um, so first of all, I would put the main character in as the first one. Um, so if it's like, uh, you know, if I'm clicking through a project, right? Which is separated in four parts. I want to see the hero one first and then the, the, the supporting characters, boss, whatever. Yeah. Then the environment. Um, so that's fine. You know, that's a little detail. Mm -hmm. um, so I like these. Um, I think you got some good, like, uh, stylization going on, you know? Um, but how you construct these characters. Uh, for example, I'm not sure about these arms, you know? So when you're pushing some... Um, elements or, or like uh, body parts, uh, limbs, whatever, to, to the extremes, you still want to have some cohesive like a uh, structure underneath like anatomy because a pushed anatomy, it still needs to look correct, you know, and believable, you know. Uh, this arm here is, is, I don't know, like I wouldn't, I don't think it, it, sh it can work like that. So it's almost like not attached to the body. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong there. Like either it's torso too like narrow and those arms are too like large. Like, um, I would maybe expect like a larger torso from a body like that. You know, there's something wrong there. So when you're struck, you know, like putting together a character, really look at underneath, you know, what, you know, the anatomy, you know, maybe draw on top of your characters. Okay. Is there, is, this, is there anything wrong with this, you know? Otherwise, you're just like sketching out random shapes without, you know, paying attention to the anatomy and it will just look broken, right? So you have this issue here. Mm -hmm. um, although it's, you know, interesting character. Uh, another thing um, is, this, uh, so if this is from a game, uh, right, so again, I don't know how this cape would work, you know. So a good designer pays attention to um, everything about a character, to how it's going to be animated as well. You will have to think about, you know, okay, if I show this design to an animator, right, he should be mostly fine with it, right? So think about that. Otherwise, when you put a, like a cloak like that on top of the shoulders, It'll probably come up uh, that will not work you know that will mm -hmm. clip into his arms legs you know so um have a think about you know how you design your characters so you don't have issues you know with them in game um yeah anything covering an arm like that uh, it won't fly so you know uh it's a really difficult situation <laughs> um so you know think about that you know think about everyone in a team uh, like in a game team, okay. Obviously, a game designer or like maybe like gives you a brief. Okay, I want this guy to be like this, but obviously you're showing it to everyone else in the team. Like there are lots of stakeholders. Yeah. Um. But so you have to. We need to have the buy-in mm -hmm. of everyone. Um. Yeah. They've um. They've asked. Do you know where they could find that sort of information? Maybe asking animators for advice or something. Uh, like that. That's a tough question. Um, you kind of, um, that kind of builds up in time as well. That kind of knowledge, yeah. you know, uh, you need to have a little bit of experience, you know, um, obviously when I tell you, or, uh, you know, you might go out, you might start thinking about it, but if no one told you about it and you didn't have any experience, obviously yeah. you don't know. So you, um, you might, get some mentorships from like character designers they will tell you this stuff you know then you'll get that know-how you know from a already experienced concept artist that you know then you'll get a good start you know um before having an experience so that would that's the only, that's one way i can think of 
or yeah, go go make friends uh, with like uh, experienced artists. I ask them, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, there's no easy way to do it uh, if you don't have experience, obviously. But uh, yeah, um, your environment is not your strongest. Um, so I, I'll go ahead and say it. Colors here, um, lighting situation not working for me. Um, so um, if you wanna do this type of stuff i would leave this like secondary i would just focus on characters mm -hmm. you know and this stuff here um collagen from the whole skin these are fine you know these are all nice um yeah i would just keep focusing on doing this type of stuff um uh, only place that i'll you know people might want to see that you know your character in that environment is just you know top down you you know like this um but this is not working for me um yeah <laughs> yeah they said they said oh yeah totally environment art is not my friend <laughs> yeah yeah so you know if it kind of, you know, if it's not working for you, you know, just don't do it. Um, just focus. You have so much time that you, to focus on something. Just focus on that, you know, just yeah. um, um, that one thing you really want to do. Um, obviously, this is a secondary element in your portfolio, so I'm not going to you know, pay too much attention to it. But um, it kind of like uh, affects your portfolio in a bad way, I think. This is super nice. I like it. Ooh. All right. Maybe I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Right. So this is the upper leg. This is like the calves, right? Yeah. The sh so yeah, this just looks weird. Um, if you want to do like foreshortening and stuff, um, maybe pay attention to the anatomy a bit more. Um, kind of, there's definitely something wrong with this half right there or maybe it's the repeating shapes like <laughs> yeah, yeah so like you, you know you got the shape here you got the shape here it's almost like it's like you uh, mirrored the same upper leg to that so that's like kind of confusing me you know yeah. um maybe do do a better job with you know maybe doing do like a stronger foreshortening and make sure that showing this leg a bit more like maybe show the foot Mm -hmm. Right, so we understand in, um, visually. Oh, okay, you know, yeah. she's uh, doing a, like a high kick, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just unfortunate angle, and you were not successful. But other than that, I like the style that you're going with, and these are nice. What are your yeah. thoughts on the, the mm -hmm. height of the leg in comparison to the mm -hmm. torso? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think there's a there's like a anatomical issue there as well uh, i think proportionally yeah so yeah, yeah you're right you, you, maybe it's not connected mm. to the you know waist so yeah but i mentioned this in the beginning as well right mm. so you have these type of mistakes that's that will put people off you know just pay attention you did a really nice face nice hands maybe this is a bit small hand but yeah this leg just put, puts mm -hmm. me off you know because it's awkward I can see what you're doing, but uh, you know, it has mistakes. Um, yeah, I can see how you started. Um, uh, yeah, I can see yeah. like how you started is wrong, right? So maybe do do a bit of a, a bit more, um, some more sketches. Really nail down the pose. Also, it's really constrained in in a, in a like a, um, this frame, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe you you fail to imagine the rest of the pose, you yeah. know, like. Draw the full pose, then maybe zoom into it, you know, uh, it will work uh, yeah. better. So that's OK. All right. What is this? So, OK, that, that was super random. Mm. Um, it kind of looks like a student project to me, um, so I would just remove this. Okay, nice face. I think she's good with faces. Yeah, um, you know, really, I was I yeah. thinking that looked yeah. like that looks pretty spot on for an arcane. Yeah, yeah, face. Yeah, arcane for an Yeah, 
I think you're doing a good job, but yeah. I think this waist is too high. You know, again, anatomic uh, anatomy issues. You know, mm -hmm. I think um, when you're spending so much time on a character, right? So um, just look at you know the whole structure, anatomy structure. You know how you put together a character. You present it beautifully, but I got you know this put puts me off. Sorry, you know just wrong anatomy right so mm -hmm. you will just lose opportunities with these type of mistakes so go back you know um when you're doing the new piece your new pieces um just really pay attention okay is my anatomy right correct you know am i doing a good job here so ask people maybe um and yeah i think after that you will be in a really good place all right so this is slightly better but again <laughs> It's, it's very common issue. Um, mm. If you draw the anatomy and you know over the top of this costume, this leg is crooked. You know, so you're just drawing shapes without knowing what's underneath them. So most common mistake, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, just understand the anatomy underneath. It just puts me off. You know, mm. uh, you know when I'm looking, I, I instantly see it. You know. It's so cool. Again, you know, um, it's fine. I really don't need to see these, though. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not interested in seeing how you were working on uh, on this in Blender. Um, so just show us the final design. Um, it's a nice, um, yeah, um, yeah. These are older, so I'll I won't give you a hard time on this. Uh, but you know, if you apply, you know what I suggested, um, you know, on the first top, you know, again, full projects is really good, yeah. but um, it's just that attention to detail. Hold on, let me come back to this. Um, so this one, um, these are nice. Um, this is nice. Uh, Maybe like clean up your sketches, present them a bit better. Uh, again, uh, uh, I'm not buying the anatomy again. You know, your main issue. Um, these these sketches could be a bit more cleaner. Um, maybe, and there's some more variety it would be nice. You know, I like this. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. I think you went from this to these. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like when you take a thumbnail and start cleaning them up. Uh, you know, it, I should see a bit more refined sketches mm -hmm. here, you know, so from before jumping from this to this, you know, just show us uh, some more like refined structured uh, sketches. But I think overall I had a nice presentation, you know, yeah, but you get some more stuff to do with your, you know, uh, skills, I think uh, mostly anatomy skills, um, but I think the rest is there. Um, you might want to explore maybe um, some more stuff. Uh, you know, these are nice. Is uh, maybe some try to come up with some more unique designs, right? Yeah. Um, these are be, be simple, I guess. Um, do do like a really big project where you show your best, right? Really come try to come up with some strong ideas. Um, you know, wild stuff. Mm -hmm. Then then we will go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, cool. And they they said at the start they're they're working on that on mm -hmm. their next project. So hopefully yeah, okay, we'll cool. Yeah, see that soon. Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll keep an eye out, uh, posted on Discord, right? Yeah. Um, so we can see. Um, again, if you have any old work here, remove. Um, I'll have a quick look. Sorry, two years ago. Uh, uh, okay. Um. interesting um you know some of these um i would remove some of these uh, the, the, the quality level in interestingly isn't far apart from each other yeah. so which is um you know it's quite interesting actually um yeah I, I would yeah i would eliminate uh, at least uh, you know the environment stuff just focus on on 
characters with the focused work and some more bigger projects in between smaller projects where you can populate your portfolio and in time i think you will have you'll be okay to get rid of these yeah. older ones right okay after these i'm sure you'll get an art test <laughs> don't worry about it okay cool um so that was everyone um yeah. thank you so much so we got um we had one more but we don't have time uh unfortunately so um thanks everybody um so as you know we have you know lunar academy um uh, mentorship which is first term is full now so uh, our mentees starting this uh, uh monday yep. but if you want to be updated the next ones go to the um stylus illustration mentorship web page on our website click on the mailing list all right uh, fill out your information and we'll let you know when the next one is coming up and you can put your name if you want to join our mentorships so there will be more of those there will be more mentors yep. so keep an eye out all right yeah um you can put a link to yeah so link to that in the chat Jaden will put a link to that yeah but oh christina's you know. in here Hello, hey, christina. Christina. <laughs> christina's done it so all, all done all done thank you very so, much okay but yeah um, thanks everybody yeah thanks everyone um i will uh, we'll finish there and i'll see if we can find someone on twitch to raid for you but hey let's so, go yeah if you're still here stick <laughs> around for that and it'll be be good fun okay. so thanks everyone thank you bye, see you later, bye. bye.